GOP election official charged with murdering Tenet by shooting him four times, then rambling to police that he was driving me nuts. What in the holy hell happened, man? What's going on? And I know a lot of y'all are thinking Republican-ass James is going to go easy on this lady. Unfortunately, I'm not. We're going to have to go hard on her, man. She screwed up, and I don't want to see you guys make the same mistakes. Bad! Let's jump into this. Welcome to the show, folks. I am your host, James Wise, and this, as you can tell from the screen behind my dome here, is the Landlords from Hell show, right? It's no secret. It's no secret that your boy, Jay Wise, here is a hardcore Republican. Ding, 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 ding. All right? And also a landlord. And I get a lot of you pricks out there in internet land uh, who think, that just because I'm a conservative, right-wing, fiscal conservative landlord, that at any point in time I will just uh, side with any and all landlords and just hate all tenants. And you couldn't be further in the truth, uh, further from the truth. There, I'm actually an incredibly fair person. Okay, I'm very fair. I just don't pussyfoot around with shit. Okay, I call shit like I see it. Okay, and this check. I'm not happy with her as a landlord. I'm actually very, very upset. And that's why it's on the Landlords from Hell show. If the tenant did something wrong and I thought the tenant was a dumb motherfucker, it would be the Tenants from Hell show. Which, by the way, you should also watch the Tenants from Hell show because it's dope, right? Tenants doing stupid shit. That's what's on that show. Guess what? This show, it's Landlords doing stupid shit. And this chick, oh my God, this chick does some stupid stuff, man. I cannot have fellow landlords out there making mistakes. What she did, killing this tenant, totally preventable, totally predictable, right? It was actually completely predictable, okay? A Republican election official in Connecticut is charged with murdering a tenant by reportedly showing up with a gun and shooting him four times in the torso. The official, however may be poisoning herself to a self-defense claim. That is from an article that I read, which, by the way, all the articles and source material for my Fancy Dancy slideshow that I create for you all, for your viewership pleasure, hit the fucking like button for that, is uh, going to be in the show notes, right? So here's the check. Yeah, she's a GOP, uh, GOP election official, right? Okay, what do we got here? 52-year-old resident of Norwalk, business owner for 21 years, active in many civic and sports organization, a fiscally responsible taxpayer. I mean, this is honestly, I, you know, we're kind of making light of some stuff here and making a, f a few jokes, but, like, real talk, this is, like, a really sad, tragic story. Like, this woman is not, like, a career criminal by what it appears, right? I mean, obviously, I'm just going by what I see. I don't know the tenant. I don't know this woman. I'm just going by what's been reported and giving you guys my take as somebody who's got a gigantic uh, real estate portfolio and runs thousands of tenants and has been through the freaking trenches. Uh, but, you know, just, again, real talk, dude. Super sad for the tenant. Super sad for his death. Obviously, he didn't deserve that. And I'm, j I'm just super sad for this woman. She threw away her whole life. The whole thing is, is just really tragic. And she just looks like a nice lady. Uh, they, they actually go into her on this article. This one article. They go in and kind of attack her a little bit. They try to vilify her based on her political uh, leanings, right? Wink's Facebook page. <clears throat> is is replete with anti Joe Biden, dude. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not fancy dancy. I don't. I don't have like an MBA. Uh, it's crazy that I got all rich because I'm not super fancy. I I don't know what the hell replete means, but uh, I'm just a blue collar dude. So uh, forgive my ignorance. Uh, but I don't know what the fuck that word means. But uh, based on you know. Reading it, picking up the tea leaves, reading the tea leaves here. She don't like Joe Biden. She don't like Bernie, and she loves Ron DeSantis. Well, 
Number one, let's go Biden. Number two, screw you, Bernie. I ain't feeling the burn. Nobody likes socialism. Number three, come on, Rod. Rod DeSantos 2024, baby. Let's go. But all of that notwithstanding, again, I'm very against this woman. See, I could do that, right? I'm objectionable. I can be a landlord, as she's a landlord, and realize she done screwed up. You done screwed up, A.A. Hey, hey, Ron! I can understand that we can both have the same political leanings. We can both understand that Joe Biden sucks, Bernie sucks, and Ron is sweet. But no, this chick's a dumbass, because this chick is a dumbass, folks. Jesus. Uh, she was actually complaining about her tenant on... Uh, her Facebook. I've got a tenant who won't leave as a truck driver and draws unemploy uh, unemployment. That's uh, uh, what they had on her Facebook. This is just another picture they had her just doing an election thing. It goes back to this being a tragic story, man. This is really a tragic story. Look at this lady. Just like a nice, normal lady. And she made mistakes, which I'm going to get into. And running this rental property, it destroyed her. And it does destroy people. I've seen it destroy many, many people. It destroys people all the time, right? Definitely, I'm sure, her whole life, not doing anything criminal, never meant for it to get this way. But if you start doing some of the stuff that this woman did, it's going to spiral out of control, okay? Like, look at her, dude. This looks like your mom, your aunt. You know what I'm saying? Nice lady. And then this is uh, her frustrations that they cited in that article. They're trying to, again, vilify Republicans. It's, it's what the left does. They vilify all Republicans. They make it seem like we all you know, can't look at things with nuance or see bad in all types of people. You know what I'm saying? But that's just what the left does, right? I've got a tenant who won't leave. He's a truck driver and draws unemployment. Sad on all levels. Anyone know Lazy Kurt? I'm guessing that's her. Yeah, that's her tenant's name. His name is Kurt. Gotta go, dude. So she's just very upset, right? Not handling this well, okay? Another thing they threw out there or whatever. Uh, current cries to hold police accountable. I truly believe police do far better job of courts actually held criminals accountable. I could totally agree with that. I totally agree with you, Wink. I agree with her on that, but I don't agree with her on how she manages her rental properties. Why? Because Wink's a Karen! Karen is Wink! Wink is a Karen, folks! Wink's a Karen. This whole thing is Wink's fault. Wink started the whole situation. And this isn't even the first time Wink did some horrible property management Karen stuff. I wrote on my freaking screen here. To remind me, to remind you, to stick around to the end, because I'm going to tell you about the other stuff, right? Long history of dumb landlord moves. More on that later. Wink is Karen. Karen is Wink. It's 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 like Fink. Fink is Fink is the girl. The girl is Fink. The kicker is Fink. Remember from Ace Ventura? Whatever. Anyway, here's here's the story. We'll actually get into the story now. All right. Uh, the department said <coughs> that Ellen Wink, 61, of a neighboring address at 18 Nelson Ave had been arrested and charged with murder. The disturbance was between Wink and a male victim. The male victim had sustained multiple gunshot wounds. The police reiterated. Wink's bond was set at $1 million. The court date was scheduled for February 1st, 2022. 2022. 2022. The victim was subsequently identified as Kurt Lametta, 54, Prosecutors during a brief Friday arraignment identified Lametta as Wink's tenant, uh, according to the Stanford Advocate. First of all, rest in peace, Kurt. Based on some of the stories, it does seem like Kurt was a fucking prick, but Kurt did not deserve to die. The penalty for being a fucking prick is not death, okay? It's eviction, and that is what Wink should have done. Wink screwed the pooch. First of all, landlords, we talk about house hacking as a real estate investment strategy. And it's a good strategy. It could work, but it could also not work. Real estate could work, but it could not work. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and understand, are you cut out for this business? And you got to identify the way you could run your business, right? So house hacking where you get a tenant living in the same dwelling, the same domicile that you live in. For some, that could work. For others, they can't hack it because this is a stressful job. If you don't believe me, again, watch the Tenants from Hell show. She didn't have him living there, but she had him living next door to her. This woman is clearly does not have the mental bandwidth to handle 
uh, the trouble that comes with being a property manager, being a landlord. Folks, it is a tough job. It does not matter what side of the political aisle you're on. It does not matter if you want to wear a Feel the Burn hat or you want to wear a Reagan Bush 84 hat or you want to vilify this chick for liking Ron DeSantis or you want to vote for AOC. Doesn't matter to me. All of that, people from all those areas that all look at all that stuff, we all need to understand the facts of the matter is being a landlord is a very stressful business. Problems can and do occur often. So you as a landlord, folks, your first lesson is to identify how well you can handle stress, right? Like me, I've been in this business for so long, I don't even blink when bad stuff happens. Like I remember a couple years ago, I was at Christmas, Christmas dinner, and I uh, just got a text uh, from somebody on my team who was on call that day. Somebody broke in, vandalized one of my houses. I'm just looking at it like, oh, pff, that's about $20,000 out the door. Didn't even bring it up to the people I was around. Didn't let it ruin my night. That's just part of the business. These kind of things are going to happen. But other people, some people, they see something like that, and it could ruin their night, could ruin their day, could ruin their week, could ruin their year. I've worked with investors uh, who have a tenant move out, and like the turnover bid is like five thousand dollars, and they're like, "Ah, the turnover bid is five thousand dollars. How am I gonna financially recover from this?" Right? Oh, dude, I should have put the. Uh, I should have put the meme up with uh, uh, Joe Exotic. I didn't do that. Anyway, some people just freak out over stuff like that. And, dude, if you're that kind of person, you can't be a landlord. And even if you're that kind of person, maybe you could be a landlord, but you could have a property manager. But sure as shit, what you can't do is you can't live in freaking eyesight of your property because you're going to lose your mind. It's going to ruin you. And it ruined this poor woman. And it ruined this poor guy, Kurt Lametta, right? Ruined both of their lives. Well, ended one of their lives. Probably ruined the other one is what it looks like, right? Uh, a police report obtained by the advocate suggests that Wink may have that she may claim self-defense. Uh, she reportedly told 911 dispatcher that Lametta came at her when she went to his apartment to clean. It's unclear why she believes she could enter Lametta's apartment. Now, she's been arrested. She has not faced a trial. She, just like everybody else in the United States of America, is allowed due process. So what I'm about to say is totally opinion I have no more facts than what I'm presenting to you that I'm reading uh, from some articles here. But, bro, what in the fuck did you go to his fucking house for to clean his apartment? You fucking asshole. You can't break into this guy's apartment to clean it. Secondly, you psycho fucking bitch. What are you thinking? You cannot do that. You put yourself in the position, right? You broke into this man's apartment, and then he's going to come at you? Well, why wouldn't he come at you? You're in the guy's apartment. Oh, my God. And to clean, like, it goes back to some landlords. Just They can't make objectionable decisions. They, they make decisions based upon their emotions. And this chick has a history of, like, emotionally spiraling out of control. That's why I said it's actually a really tragic story. Uh... She should not have been a landlord. She did not have the mental bandwidth to deal with it. I, I tell people when they're like, yo, dude, what do you need to be a landlord? And I joke. I'm like, yo, you need brass fucking balls because you do, right? Because every day it's like a dick kick. And, uh, you know, back to the government thing, every day the left's getting stronger, the left's getting stronger, and, and they're ruining landlords' rights, which is causing major frustrations. This woman's obviously very politically active, so I'm sure – that added to her frustration, but sometimes you got no one to hold them. You got no one to fold them. She should have got out of the business because if you're at a point, folks, where you're 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 at your home and you could see your rental property, and you're at a point where where you think it's logical in your brain to wait for your tenant to go somewhere. For you to then break into his home, which is illegal, just because you own it doesn't mean you can break into it. And that's in, like, all 50 states, except for maybe Arkansas. Arkansas is fucked. They got, like, crazy laws. Like, literally, I don't know if this would be a crime in Arkansas. It might not be. That state's fucked up. But, like, all the other laws, 
in all the other 49 states. You can't do that. And on top of that, she did that to clean it? Oh, what? Like, dude, chick, that is not... That is not uh, appropriate, legal, acceptable, or sane. I'm sorry. You went out of control. Had no business doing that. Also, that makes her batshit fucking crazy. That just I call it like I see it, guys. Like I said, I am fair. I like her political leanings. I like the land learning business, but I'm sorry. I cannot defend her behavior. And it just goes back. I see a lot of clients, too, that, like, they'll see a, a tenant's apartment, <clears throat> right? And... Like, say they own the property and they view a tenant's apartment, like they do their inspection, and then the apartment is dirty. Obviously, it, it drove this woman out of control, and they will freak out. Ah! The apartment is dirty! Evict the tenant if they don't clean it. Bro, you know what it tells me when that is your reaction to a dirty apartment? that you have no business being a landlord, that you have no way of pragmatically looking at a historically difficult business, okay? Here's the deal. When you evict a tenant, it costs money. It costs money to remove them, number one. Number two, you lose money from the rent they're paying you, okay? Number three, the apartment's already dirty. You have to then pay to clean it, fix it up, do the turnover, okay? All right? If it's already dirty, paying money, refusing to collect their income because the apartment is already dirty, you're only spiting yourself. You're, you're not doing anything that makes sense from a uh, profitability perspective, right? The damage has already been done, so why in your brain does it make sense to cost yourself more money to just fix the problem that you could just fix later when the money runs out. Makes no sense, right? Uh, you start going down that rabbit hole of insanity, and then you end up where this poor chick is, and you end up where that poor guy Kurt is, man. I mean, dude, the guy comes home, and his fucking crazy bitch is in his apartment probably fucking scrubbing his countertops like a maniac. Jesus. Uh, so then she told them, I'm so tired of this guy. She reportedly continued, he's on the floor. Because she fucking shot him. Jesus. A detective continued describing the stream of consciousness. She said that she had kept telling him to get out and had enough. Said a police report cited by the Stamford newspaper. Wink continued rambling about issues Kurt Lametta caused. Another tenant reportedly told the police that after a loud bang, it was Lametta the victim who yelled out, that 911 should be called. Yeah, that's reasonable. That's probably what I'd say if some crazy bitch was shooting me. Though Lametta reportedly suffered four wounds, Wink apparently said that she fired five shots from a revolver and that Lametta had been expletive. I'm guessing that's fucking. Fucking driving me nuts, I would imagine. Wink's boyfriend said he heard a bang, a pause, and a few more bangs. Honestly, you know what? This chick's like 60. Nothing to do with the story, but I do find it weird Like when people are like 60 and they're like, oh, my boyfriend, my girlfriend. Sounds weird. Doesn't like seem like a thing your grandma should have. Like, Let's call them like partners, her partner, her, her male lover. Possibly evidence that could turn against Wink, but then added that Lametta was a big bully and that Wink was afraid of him. Now, I don't buy that, okay? I don't buy that at all. I don't buy that uh, <clears throat> that Wink was afraid of this guy because if she was afraid of him, why would she have broken into his apartment to Swiffer the fucking floor? Makes no sense, folks. Ah, <clears throat> What else we got? The Hour of Hearst Connecticut, uh, Connecticut media site said that Wink was previously... Oh, yeah, this is what I was... This is part of that stuff I was going to bring up. I wrote it on the screen with the Karen meme. I was going to bring stuff up earlier. This chick has a long history of doing stuff like this, folks. The Hour, a Hearst, Connecticut media site, said that Wink was previously arrested in September after a dispute with her tenant. The advocate said Lametta was the same tenant referenced in the September 21 incident, right? So September, she gets arrested for fucking with this guy. This is now, like, late January, and she's breaking into the guy's freaking apartment to swift for the goddamn floor. At the time, Wink locked the tenant out of the home and threw away their personal belongings, including clothes, jewelry, and cash, according to the Norwalk Police Sergeant Sophia Gelino, the hour said of the 2021 incident. Look at me giving credit to all the people that write this stuff. Look, 
in layman's terms. She did a self-help eviction. Folks, I get it. Sometimes tenants can be assholes. According to this chick, this guy Kurt was not paying her rent. Fucking asshole. Again, Kurt, sorry you're dead, bro, but you you were a fucking asshole, okay? Don't think that you should be dead. Don't think that being a fucking asshole is punishable by death. That is horribly wrong. I am very anti this chick, all right? I'm very anti-wink here, but we're going to call a spade a spade, okay? So you weren't paying, he wasn't paying rent and he was stealing from her. You got to you got to play the game by the rules, people. I'm sorry, but you do. Okay? The rules are what the rules are. When you you're a landlord, sometimes tenants are assholes. Again, we have a show. It's called the Tenants from Hell show. We we show you guys crazy stuff. You should watch that. If you're thinking about being a landlord and you think you may have some personality traits like this woman, you don't want to become this woman. That's a that's bad. This guy doesn't pay her rent. When you don't get your rent folks there's one thing and one thing only that you could do you could file an eviction that's it tenant doesn't pay rent you got one option you got to evict them i understand that we've been going through these covid moratoriums and yeah i agree it's bull it's bullshit okay it is bullshit the government really screwed us on this one okay again that's why i'm a fiscal conservative and a republican okay the government screwed us Let's go, Brandon. Uh, you know, although Trump, Trump, to be fair, Trump started it. He did. Again, I'm, see, I'm a fair guy. I'm super fair. I'm very objective. I'm very objective. But that's, that's it. That's what it is. That's the game. These are the rules of the game. You got to figure out how to play the game based on the rules. If you don't like the rules, get out of the game or work to change them. She was in politics, so maybe she was working to change them, but you can't lose your mind, okay? So, tenant doesn't pay rent, tenant's a prick. You got to go through the court system to evict him. It is illegal in pretty much every state, except for, again, maybe Arkansas. Who knows what's going on down there? For you to break into their home, change their locks. That is called a self-help eviction. It's illegal everywhere. Not going to work. Is very dangerous. And you're going to get in trouble with the law as she did, okay? You can't do it, folks. Don't do it. Wink is a Karen. Long history of self-help evictions. Dumbass. I should have put this slide before the last slide. Another local news site, Nancy of Norwalk, which describes itself as an independent site news founded by former corporate... Oh, this is none of that's important. I don't know why I put that in there. Long story short, the website reported that Wink was charged last year with criminal mischief, larceny, and criminal lockout in connection with that earlier landlord-tenant dispute, right? That's a little bit uh, rep uh, a little repetitive here. That's what I was talking about. She broke into Homeboy's uh, freaking apartment and tried to lock him out. You can't do that, Wink. You can't freaking do that. That's why you got arrested, okay? Jesus. Locked him out, thrown his belongings in the trash. Police said Wink told the authorities that the tenant hadn't paid his rent and that she was tired of arguing with him because he was late every month. See, that's her problem. Why are you arguing with the guy? He doesn't pay his rent, just a victim. He's a prick. He's not going to pay his rent. Just pull the Band-Aid off, people. You can't get water from a rock. When a tenant doesn't pay rent, no questions asked. You evict them legally. You don't argue with them you don't go down the rabbit hole of insanity. You sure as shit don't break into their house and try to self-help a victim. Put yourself in a very dangerous position. Commit a crime. You definitely don't break into his house three months later and shoot the guy. All horrible decisions. Again, it goes back to, do you have the mental bandwidth to be a landlord? If you can't handle these stresses and like see that, like, oh, I got a tenant that's not paying rent. Well, I got a... Just evict him. I can't evict him right now because of the COVID moratorium. Okay, well, whenever the moratorium is over, I'll then evict him. When I invested in real estate, when I decided to become a landlord, I penciled this stuff in because I did my research. I watch Holton Weiss TV. I know that tenants not paying rent is a very real part of the real estate business, and I can never avoid it. So I should have known this is coming, right? Like, if I jump in the water, if I jump in the pool, my beard's going to get wet. I know that that, that is what's going to happen, okay? Folks, if you become a landlord, 
eventually you're going to get a prick tenant who's not going to pay your rent. You got to be able to roll with that, okay? So, uh, long story short, she's throwing his stuff away. And the police actually uh, gave her a couple uh, a couple chances. Like, they were going to actually let her, let him go back in to the apartment. They are like, listen, Karen, chill. You got to let dude back in the apartment. And then she, like, freaked out saying, no, he's got to go. And then they arrested her ass, as they very well should have. This chick just couldn't handle it, okay? So, again. It's just a tragic story. I, I, first of all, I feel very bad for Kurt, the tenant. Um, but pragmatically, he is a prick. He was stealing from this woman. If you do not pay rent, you are stealing. So two things can be true at the same time, folks. Imagine that. Kurt can be a total prick, but I could also feel bad that he was uh, the victim of a heinous crime, right? Just like with Wink. Uh, I could like her political ideology. I could feel bad for her that she met a prick like Kurt who was stealing from her. But I could also condemn her behavior and tell you that she should never have been a landlord. She's a disgrace to the industry. And based on everything that I have read on this topic, she belongs in jail. And I hope you all could learn from her tragic story, his tragic story, and my insight from the business, right? So uh, also, if you're a tenant, please pay your rent. Also, if you're a landlord, uh, please evict your tenants legally through the court system the moment they don't pay their rent. Do not go to their house and try to argue with them. It's not going to work. Oftentimes, these things turn violent. I have many stories of murder, both tenant killing landlord, landlord killing tenant, all over Holton West TV. Dude, I got one story where one dude also living in the same building as his tenant. The tenant cut the guy's head off with a fucking samurai sword. People, come on! Get a grip! Drop your comments, good, bad, or otherwise, below the show. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.